All right, hello everybody. This is a pretty good 2v2 match on Toe. Um, seems like the folks that I'm playing with are close to my level, maybe a little better, maybe a little worse. I I'm not sure. I mean, I only played a few games with them. Um, so this is one that me and my mate um, successfully defeated our opponents. And uh, if you watched my last video, I was discussing some of my my issues I was having and I think I solved some of those issues now again I don't know the skill level of these players exactly um, but they weren't noobs so the win win was a good win I think um, but essentially you know I've been watching I've been going back and watching a lot of uh, Andy's videos of him playing as allied and I've been getting a lot of coaching a lot of great coaching from from Jake aka final boss and it seems like a common thing that they both do as allied is you know okay what they think okay what can I do to be aggressive as quickly as possible because with Soviet you know that's not that's not difficult you build a tank right um, but with allied it's you have to be a little bit more crafty um, and Andy you know especially in quick match he just builds two IFVs two engineers right away to see what buildings he can capture and I know a lot of people bitch and complain about that but it's part of the game and it's it's a it's an effective tactic if you're a confident um, if you're a confident player not not necessarily a confident player but confident in using that particular tactic um, I'm not I mean he he memorizes his hotkeys I think he does like engineer one, IFV two, and then another engineer on a three, another IFV on four. And he sort of has that process down. So as you can see right here, um, and I really got this from Jake, is, well, this this form of aggression, it's like, um, you know, what, um, what units do I have that I can use if I don't want to engineer? Well, I can just pump out an IFV. Because with an IFV, at least, it's fast. So I can do some harassment with that. Um, now I didn't I didn't kill the power plant there's another game where I do kill the power plant but with this game to help build up my confidence with um, oh oh no this I'm thinking of a different game but anyway um, in a different game I do actually seal the, my opponent but this one I don't seal them anyway um, so yeah I, I did the early IFV harassment I lost my fucking IFV to a Terra drone that was stupid I don't know how my um, construction complete I don't know how my pillbox didn't get the drone, but anyway, um, as I was saying in a previous video, I was think, saying ah, I tech up too quick, da 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 da, and I don't think it's that I'm taking up too quick; it's that I'm taking up and not paying attention to what the other player is doing. So I've been trying to be very careful about, you know, checking what my opponent is doing while I'm teching up and while I'm building tanks. Now, like I was saying, Jake. Uh, AKA final bosses giving me a lot of good coaching and everything but you know in my last video I mentioned this me trying to do the things that he does you know in in theory that's smart but it's it would be like me trying to get into a competitive boxing match uh, um, and try doing the same tactics that a professional seasoned disciplined boxer tries to do you know it's not gonna turn out the same for me because I don't you know, I don't play as much. I don't have the long-term experience, et cetera, et cetera. And that's not an excuse. Those, I mean, it's just the reality of it. I don't. I haven't played the game as much as these these pro guys. And so, anyway, my point being is, you know, instead of what he does is he builds, you know, somewhere between two to five G GGI IFVs for offense and defense before teching up, um, rather than building a bunch of grizzly takes. But I'm thinking. Well, I can probably, you know, build my initial IFV for some harassment and then start building tanks. You know, and before that, I'm I'm watching I'm watching and reacting to my opponent, seeing how many miners I can get out so that I can get my eco up so that I can get my tech lab up. So, I mean, in this game, I think I only built two or three grizzly tanks before starting to pump out mirage tanks. <laughs> And then as soon as I see the first Desolator, it's like, okay, Desolator's out, Snipers come out. Um, now, that this is one thing that I wouldn't advise newer players to do that I'm doing. I, and this is me trying to imitate sort of a pro player um, because, you know, this is something that, that Jake does. And others, not just Jake, but others have said, you know, hey, if you can beat someone... Um, 
as the allied faction without relying on the pair drop, then you know you're you're in a pretty good position to be able to compete on a high level. So that's I'm kind of challenging myself to do that, and I've been trying to challenge myself to do that, and it's hard because you like to win, and this tactic can be hard to win with because, like I said, you know, um, it's a tactic that is difficult to to manage. So I don't I don't know if I'd recommend it, but. I'm getting better and better because I'm challenging myself um, to do that. So, I don't know, there's pros and cons. Ooh, I got caught by a Deso Bomb there. Not the end of the world. I still have more tanks than my opponent. Um, and what's going on right now? I think I'm working on a Chronosphere. My Eco's really good. In fact, it's too good. I should probably have at least one more War Factory. Yeah, and Teal's kind of on the run here. He he does have an IFV. Or <laughs> I don't know why I said IFV, because it starts with the same letter, I guess. He does have an Iron Curtain. Um, so, I mean, shit, he could he could have Iron Curtain those two tanks and just scared me away momentarily, but he didn't for some reason. So I, I feel like that was a mistake, but a mistake caused by the pressure that's been put on. See, now he has three tanks. He could IC those three tanks, and he probably will, actually. I don't remember. I did just play these games this morning. It's March 27th. Um, yeah, I did just play these games this morning, but I don't remember exactly what happened. Um, yeah, okay, so he, he did kind of group wait, and then... But Mirage tanks are so fast, I can just run, try to protect my miners, move them around back and forth between refineries. Oh my god, I have 10,000 money. Yeah, I should have four war factories right now. <laughs> Maybe not four. I should have at least three with all this goddamn money I have. And a little tip um, for newer players, at least. I know pros don't need to hear this, but see all my miners stopped working? I didn't realize it at first, but then as soon as I did, I select them all. I select them all. There we go. Yeah, I select them all. Or I selected a couple, and then I hit double T so that it selected every single one across the map and then I hit G just so they'd start mining again and I had so much goddamn money and I was busy thinking about putting more pressure on that I didn't even bother moving them um, you know again not necessarily advise but it is what it is it's I'm in the throes of a game it's easy to say now what I did wrong um, yeah and my mates got an ice or no no yeah my mate does have an IC I thought I built a um, Chronosphere in this game. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I did. Okay. And I put it by the ore refinery for some reason. Or the, um, the ore purifier. And yeah, right here, I mean, he's got no tanks left. I think I killed a few after that failed Iron Curtain attack. And see, even here, I can't place my... <laughs> um, I couldn't place my refinery exactly where I want it, so I was like, well, I have enough money, I'll just place it somewhere less than ideal. You gotta make those split second decisions. Can't always be perfect. Yeah, and here, you see my um, sniper IFV doing work. Um, sniper IFVs are also really good for killing fodder. But yeah, that's, that's GG right there, and um, I'm gonna post another one of these games where I do similar tactics, but even more effectively, I think. Have a blessed day.